Ciao a tutti, Mary here with another journal page video. So for today we are gonna use my old book and uh, I'm already pre the page and uh, I just cut uh, um, in, in a piece of paper just the side, the, the frame of a moon that I will use to mask the, the page basically. Uh, I'm using all the color blue that I have in my stash and I put there all the names. And uh, I want to apply in a different way, not with a brush, but I want to use uh, a, a card. Uh, so this is uh, just an old uh, card that I have uh, forever, basically. And so I'm just put everything uh, on the page, uh, trying to move uh, uh, the card uh, on different angles to have uh, this really stroke, this line uh, in the page. Apart from blue, I also adding some white here and there, and that's the result basically of the background. It's a bit messy, I know, but in the end, I mean, I kind of like this look, but uh, the difficult part was then to uh, adjust the focal point, but you will see in the end. Now, again, I'm focused a lot on the background. Uh, I know I'm maybe <laughs> too much focused on the background, but uh, I want to add this kind of sparkling uh, of, of, yeah, some kind of more sparkling on the background, so I'm using whatever I have in my stash, so I decided to use the metallic gelato that I have in the two blue colors, and also some gold color as well. And I'm smashing, so I just put on the page, and then I'm just dabbing my finger with some water and smash a little bit on the page, so in this way the, the color will spread uh, a bit better in the page. It took a, a while, to, um, a while to, to just dry the page because uh, the, using the, the card uh, instead of the brush uh, was putting a lot of uh, quantity of colors uh, in the page and it took a bit uh, longer to process to, to dry. But anyway, after dry everything, I'm then try to focus on my focal point, that is this moon. So I decided to doodling the, the moon. And so I'm using uh, the uh, light blue color that I have uh, uh, in my stash again from Faber Castell and I'm just doodling some uh, line here and there and uh, some of the kind of flower look, kind of, uh, but uh, I'm, some of the petals uh, I'm just coloring directly overall with, uh, with this color. But this is just the first base because I'm gonna go over with the, uh, the darker color that I have again doing the same process and then after that, after dry everything, because since I had gesso uh, on, on the background it was, again, it took a bit longer to, to dry everything, but after dry everything I'm just using some uh, gold. Well, first I was putting some dot with the, uh, another marker that I have, again in blue, that is the Sharpie marker, and then finally I just go again uh, uh, doing the petals uh, with the gold, my golden marker. I like in the end how it turned out, but uh, I think it was a bit too messy to be honest, because may maybe, I mean, the be I like the background, I like the focal point, maybe together it's a bit too much <laughs> to be honest, but okay, I like it to experiment time to time, and this was really an experiment and it was fun to, to try something different and fun kind not not be worried about the mess that I was about to create basically. And after using all those markers I had to um, pause a little bit uh, because uh, it, if I would uh, put my hands uh, on, the, on the focal point basically I was uh, kind of smear everything because again I had uh, um, some uh, gesso below and so it was easy too easy really to move everything but uh, I thought that uh, something was still missing there so uh, since I had some sparkling on the background I decided okay let's add also some golden on the uh, focal point as well so I have this marker in my stash that I really love this is um, acrylic um, acrylic painter marker in gold and it's great for uh, every occasion basically it's really a great marker uh, and again, I thought then uh, after doing this one, I thought still something was missing. <laughs> I don't know, I think I had, I had this feeling during the overall page, to be honest. So I was adding some stars. I said, okay, let's put some started, stars in the background. And in this way, then uh, I have then the same color that I am the focal point also in the background. I thought, okay, it was a good idea. And in the end, it's not so bad, but still strange. I'm still having a strange feeling with this page, to be honest. But anyway, I'm just stop 
thinking about it and I say okay let's time it's time to put a quote on it so I'll take my uh, white uniposca marker and this was uh, a great way to add uh, a quote in such a busy background and such a bright and colorful background uh, I had some struggling with it uh, because uh, the marker sometimes was not uh, um, I mean the color was not getting out the marker uh, evenly so sometimes I just had to push the marker uh, in the page and if I push the marker yeah that's what uh, happened so sometimes then uh, it, it getting too much color outside of the marker so then I decided okay the, to avoid the same mess that uh, I put on that uh, R I just did it on my uh, mat uh, and, uh, and then uh, uh, adding the color on the page uh, after that, uh, um, since uh, it's white, I decided to add some uh, uh, line in black uh, just to pop up the, the, the quote basically. And this is the uh, um, brush black marker that I have again in my stash and just uh, putting some line only on one side of the letters. In this way then it looks like uh, it, it, there is some dimension on, uh, on the quote. And then uh, I just added some uh, lines with the Sharpie marker again, uh, all around to frame kind of kind of framing the, the page. Um, just smaller, shorter on the top and on the bottom, and instead a bit longer on the side. And again, I was thinking something was missing. So this is the last thing that I did this page, basically. I decided to use directly some glitter glue. So this is from Ranger, it's a great product uh, and I'm just putting again the same doodling line uh, with this uh, um, glue and uh, I, did, I added a bit more uh, on the center of the moon. And then I decided to call it done basically and I want to tell you that uh, the Ranger's uh, glue, glitter glue it took really a lot of time to dry, it took maybe, uh, if I remember, well overnight basically, I left it there overnight and then finally it was dry. Anyway, this is the page for today. I know it's a bit messy, but uh, in the end, sometimes uh, it's good to try something different. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed, and uh, I will put in the end some close up picture, and uh, so you can see even the dimension and uh, the bright that I have on this page. And see you soon. Bye bye.